Welcome back, Film Force fans, to another Wilshire's Review, an honest, in-depth review of the latest films. Hey, what's up, Film Force fans? It's Jordan here with another Wilshire's Reviews. And today, I'm going to be reviewing Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Now, this film is obviously the sequel to Jurassic World, and in an extent, the sequel to Jurassic Parks 1, 2, and 3. And I'll talk about that later, because I have a few issues with that. Now... This film is directed by J.A. Bayona and starring Chris Pratt, Bryce Dallas Howard and a few other people who I don't really care about. And Jeff Goldblum's back, playing Jeff Goldblum. There's a volcano on the island. They have to go rescue the dinosaurs and a corporation is going to help Claire rescue the dinosaurs. Interesting. But obviously that corporation, as we see in the trailer, is bad. I wonder what movie they got that from. That sounds like Jurassic Park 2, Jurassic World. Oh, it sounds like two of the films they've already done. Okay. But before we get on to the negatives, let's start with the positives. Are there any positives? Okay, I did have fun in the film. I did enjoy it. It was a, it was a fun romp. But I didn't want that in a way. I wanted the magical experience that you get with Jurassic Park. I wanted a story and Chris Pratt is good in it as always. He's just, you know, carries the film. He's that charming, charismatic guy. Bryce Dallas Howard is much better in this film, I think, than the first one. And she has some moments where they could have really gone somewhere with her character, but they choose not to. The effects look great. The dinosaurs look good. You know, I do like the look of some of the new dinosaurs and some of the dinosaurs we've seen before. But, and I must admit, the opening scene is really good and tense, even though I start laughing because I know what's going to happen. I don't know how it's tense, but it was. it was. It was just a good, cool scene. And then the ending, this day ending, I did like, but the ending was very similar where I thought Jurassic World was trying to get to at the start of this film but it took this whole film to get to the point of where Jurassic World was I thought Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom was going to start originally before we had the plot about the volcano and it just seemed a bit strange that's all um, but I did like it but they sort of already touched on it in a few other films but if they go where I think they're going to go and make it good it could be an interesting film, Jurassic World 3, if they make it, because I'm sure this one will make its money. Now, they do touch on quite a few themes that if they'd explored more fully, like genetic engineering and how and humans will always take the next step and will always go further than they should. And they touch on that, but they don't they don't grab it by it. They don't grab at it and really use it. They mention it in a few lines and show a few bits. They could have really made a story about genetic engineering and humans playing God a lot more. Some of the scenes were slightly scary for me. I wasn't expecting that because it's just, but then the other dinosaur scenes, you just knew what was gonna happen and I started laughing because it seemed like they were trying to create scenes that were, you know, iconic and scary, like when the T-Rex eats the guy in the toilet, because that should be laughable, but that is actually quite scary when I was a kid. But now these half of the things I was just oh you seriously I was I was laughing during the film when a guy was being eaten I was laughing because it was just it was hilarious it was because you just knew it was going to happen because some of these characters apart from the Chris Pat and the Bryce Dallas Howard character were just cliche you had the paleontologist you had the guy who is you know a hunter he's he's an SAS he's a strong guy and he. he he will, he, no dinosaur can defeat him. He could take it out all dinosaurs. Oh, you know what's going to happen there, don't you? You have the good corporation guy who is actually an evil corporation guy. You have the tech guy who doesn't belong in the wild. You've got all these sort of cliche characters and that's what they are. They've got no actually character development. You know, Bryce Dallas Howard, I think, has the most in a way character development, but that's only because we know her character in Jurassic World. But they could have taken a much more 
they could have developed it even more because they show in this film she w cares about dinosaurs because you know she sort of mistreated or she feels bad about what she did to Jurassic World like created the Dominus Rex so she wanted to make sure the dinosaurs survive because it's man's creation. The issue is the volcano becomes a b-plot so quickly but that's what they market the whole film on in the trailer. Now on to some more negatives and major plot holes. Oh we need to rescue the dinosaurs because this is the only island with dinosaurs. If I remember correctly, Jurassic 2, Jurassic Park 2 and Jurassic Park 3 were both set on a different island with dinosaurs. No mention of that whatsoever. No mention. There were some scenes actually, some just one shot scenes that were meant to evoke emotion that were done really well, I must admit. Some of them look visually stunning and could become iconic, you know, movie posters because they were really well done. And I must admit, some of the scenes and how they showed the characters react to these scenes were really interesting. But others were just, I felt like, were trying to recreate Jaws. I had fun with this film, but it wasn't as good as I wanted it to be, nor could have been, with all the themes and storylines they tried to do. But they tried to do two different themes and storylines. One is... Should we rescue these dinosaurs because we created them and there's a volcano? It's another extinction level event. They, you know, they were here before us. Should they be here after us? Okay, interesting. Another one is genetic engineering. How far will man go? And can we use, will we use just about anything we can get our hands on for war? Interesting. But when they try to slide the two together and one becomes the secondary plot and loses focus and the other one comes over but then becomes a general it's dinosaurs attacking dinosaurs attacking it just becomes uh, it just they don't focus on it enough now i'd sort of i'd give in summary i would recommend going to see this film i did enjoy the film but i think it is better than jurassic world because it touches on more themes it tries to do more but it does is no I don't think any film is going to be as good as Jurassic Park. Partly because you won't get those magical moments ever again. And partly because we're wanting these characters to come back like Jeff Goldblum. And they come back for not much time at all. And it just becomes a monologue. So I would give this film 6.5 out of 10. I had fun. But it wasn't the great spectacle of Jurassic World, even though I enjoyed it more. And it wasn't the thought-provoking film of Jurassic Park. Have you guys seen Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom? Do you guys think you're going to see it? Going to see it? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more. I've been Jordan Wiltshire and this has been your Wiltshire's with you. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, do hit that like button or head down to the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for the latest videos. May the force be with you.